All right, very good. Now that we got parts one and two finalized, we're gonna go into part three, which is now talking about the cylinders in themselves. As I mentioned, cylinders can be done many different ways. Ultimately, different size cylinders may have different setups for them. Ideally, we're looking at with the stage kit that we have for the side mount stage kit, you got the clips, the string to be able to the lanyards to hold those clips into place, bungees or straps to be able to hold the bands or the hoses in place as well when we're using it, and then finally the tank bands or the cylinder bands that's gonna be able to lock everything in that we need. These bands come already set up and already configured. All we have to do is actually slide those onto the cylinder itself. In doing that, we have them loosened up a little bit to show this very easily. And then it's a matter of placement. So this is where your instructor and also your agency can come in and dictate where you're gonna have these positioned at. This big portion of it, when we look at the cylinder itself, valve should stay to the outside. So if this is on my side, I kind of want this to the inside so it's protected, not hit anything. And then I'll run a clip onto this side as well to be able to lock it into place. Then the final piece of that is gonna be the second clip that we have for the stainless steel clip. We'll go over the top of the valve as we start positioning it where it needs to be. On this other cylinder, we have this one kind of rigged up already to where we needed it to, to show you what these components look like. This can get adjusted, this can be adjusted depending on your instructor and your agency as we start going through the components. Generally, we like to have, if the valves are facing us, a lot of us dive it that way, so the valves are protected and the first stages are protected. The cylinder then would clip to our side and clip to our side and then everything is protected that next to us. So here we have this placement able to be free and move if we need to adjust the cylinder for any reason. This is the placement that usually gets fixed and stays where it needs to be. The only other component out of these sections that you're gonna be looking at is gonna be the bands. So the bands is what's gonna be holding the seven foot hose into place. Those bands can get positioned and adjusted over the cylinders wherever you need them. Generally, we do a top band and then we also do a bottom rubber band. That way, if we're pulling on the hose, it's not rolling up the band on us and it catches towards the bottom of that clamp. So very easy to set these together, put them together. You can run these cylinders with the valves pointed down if you want or up. In this case, they're configured with them actually pointed up.